In this new feature video, we will look at the new Viewports function in PC Crash 12.0. The Viewport is a function that allows users to overlay and arrange different camera views on a single screen to make their workflow more efficient or create animations of their simulations. Let's take a look. So here I have a PC Crash 12.0 simulation involving a vehicle turning right in front of a cyclist and I've also added a traffic light at my intersection here. I've gone ahead and created three different viewports, one showing a close-up view of this corner, another showing a close-up of the traffic light, and another of the same intersection corner but from a different view. I've used my main window zoomed out to show the run-up of this collision, and the three viewports to show the various details that I want to show. To create a viewport is very simple. We can navigate to the view ribbon and under the viewport sub ribbon we can create a new viewport. We can give it a name. We can specify the size and position of the viewport or adjust it later on. So we'll leave the default settings for now. And here is our viewport. The same tools to manipulate the camera position in the, in the main window can also be used to manipulate the camera position in the viewport. So I can zoom in, zoom out, change the camera views, or even use the predefined isometric views or the top and bottom views. In this case, we can do an isometric view like so. I can use, I can resize and move my viewport like so. And I can either delete it, maximize it, or overlay it side by side with my main window. So here we have our various viewports and our main window. The viewports can also be used in our 3D window of PC Crash. Here I've already created a simulation uh, showing the interior view of the, uh, the vehicle. And I've also overlaid two viewports onto the mirror, the main mirror, and the right mirror of this vehicle. So here we can simulate what the driver of this vehicle may have seen from their, ve from their rear view mirrors. To create a viewport in the 3D window, it's the same process as the 2D window. Now there is a new ribbon uh, to define viewports. So we can redo this main mirror here, or this right mirror here. Let's do the right one. We'll delete that for now. So again, just like the 2D window, we can add a new viewport. We can name it. There is various options to uh, position this viewport. In this case, because we do not want it to move, we'll anchor it at the position where the mirrors will be. And we will uh, define the size uh, ourselves later on. So here we have a viewport. And we can move it to the correct position at the right wing mirror here, like so. Then we would adjust this mirror position so that it looks at what the mirror would be showing. In this case, I've already gone ahead and created the correct mirror position. So I'll just load that in directly, like so. So now we have what the view would be out of the uh, right wing mirror. But you notice right now, it is not being reflected. So we can change that easily by selecting the right mirror viewport and telling PC Crash that this is a mirror reflection. And now we see everything is mirrored as it should be when the driver looks out of the mirror. So now we have two viewports overlaid on top of the mirror position showing what the driver would have seen out of their mirrors. So this has been a demonstration of the new viewports function 
in PC Crash 